My brothers and sisters in Christ, in today's gospel, Jesus speaks of how over the centuries the prophet's blood had always been shed by the children of God, that God in his love and mercy kept sending warnings and kept sending prophets over and over again, and yet that the prophet's blood was shed, and that now in the fullness of rejection of the Messiah whom they were supposed to be waiting for, that now they were bringing the blood of the prophets upon themselves. This is not you know, the, the most joyful of passages. It's a, an ominous one that speaks of the consequences of rejection of Christ. But it also for us is a reminder that God has been rejected in every age. That is the, the state of sin. And as St. Paul says in the first reading, all have sinned and are deprived of the glory of God. In fact, it is on grace alone that we can be saved. No, no merit of our own, no work of our own can ever achieve our salvation. It is through his pure generosity. And so we must respond and treat our lives as the gift that's been given. There's an expression talking about playing with house money in the sense of playing from the state of being ahead uh, of nothing to lose. And, and so it is with us. Our very lives are gift. They've been purchased at a price, and therefore we should joyfully and generously spend our lives at the service of God. And therefore, it is worth our attention today, this memorial of Saints John de Brebeuf, Isaac Jogues, and their companions. These are the, the first North American martyrs ever canonized. They are from a couple of different times. It wasn't just one martyrdom incident, which is why there's a collection of them together, but the collection of those who went as missionaries to the Huron Indians up in what would be current day Canada. And here the, the Huron Indians constantly re received uh, the, the, the missionaries. Many were converted, but the Huron were at war with the Iroquois. And the Iroquois often uh, would capture or bring devastation on them. And at several incidences, these brave men were, were captured by the Iroquois and subject to, to brutal execution. In the case of St. Isaac Jogues, he actually was captured, subjected to torture for a long time, and eventually escaped, uh, partially maimed and made it back to France. And instead of taking it easy, going into retirement, he asked to be sent back to North America, and he returned to the ministry to the Huron, only to later be captured again and ultimately martyred. And so the witness of these men, it's worth our while because they're the first recognized martyrs from our own continent, but also the reminder of this generosity of life, of people who realize the gift, that their very lives were a gift to be spent in service of the Lord to bring the new good news of the gospel to others. Not all of us are called to go to distant lands to be missionaries, but each and every one of us is called to live out the mission of the gospel. And this comes from the generosity of spirit to realize the grace we have received. You and I have sinned and are deprived of the glory of God, if not for his grace and mercy. We have been purchased at a great price and therefore, we should be at complete peace and offering everything back to God. Not because God is demanding of us of some brutal price, but because we are bound to him. He has suffered for us, and once we find life in him, we realize that suffering does not have the final say. It is the joy of being, being united with Christ. And so, in a world that is as hostile today as it has been in every age to God, to our faith, may we live confidently and boldly, not seeking out trouble, not seeking confrontation, but also not hiding or running either. May we live our fullness of faith, live it joyfully, confidently, and openly, and never fear what the consequences might be. For we have been purchased at a price, and our Lord's grace is sufficient for us. May God bless you all.